The brutal challenges can be quite difficult as they're locked on hard mode so there's no way to beat them without getting good or cheesing it. We'll be doing the latter on every single fight so consider subscribing as I show you how to beat all of them with ease. And with that out the way, let's get into this, yeah? For brutal challenge Unending Nightmare, we'll need Aerith as the main damage dealer. She boasts the highest magic stat in the game and we'll be abusing that. We'll be using a materia I slept on until the community suggested it to me on my hard mode build video. I'm talking about Petrify. Quake hits like a truck and has a very big hitbox. We'll be linking this to Magic Focus for 25% more damage. Even though it has a big hitbox, we'll want to ensure it hits at least 3 enemies, so Magnify Link to another Petrify is needed. We'll be using Quake Aga, and by default, Aga version of spells have the longest cast time, and we'll want to speed that up with Swift Cast Link to another Petrify. Aga spells need 2 ATB, so we'll want to start off with First Strike to have at least one when we start the battle. ATB boost to double this, so we have enough to cast it right away. Magic up to further boost her stats. Enemy skill for 5% more magic stats. ATB stagger to get ATB back when we stagger the enemy. The remaining slots don't matter, so I put in autocast for 2% more magic. Phoenix is the best summon for her because it gives her 8 magic stat. I went with the Plumos Rod as it boasts the highest magic stat with the most materia slots. The weapon skills on this weapon are mess, so use whatever. For accessories, we'll want the Choco King's Cape for the God combo. We'll go over that in a bit. The second teammate might be a surprise to most, but did you know that Tifa has the second highest magic stat in the game? We'll be using Fire and Ice Materia linked to Magnify to make it AoE. An Ice Materia linked to Magic Focus. First Strike and ATB boost so she could get 2 ATB at the start of combat. In order to have the second highest magic stat, she'll need Attack and Magic Swap Materia. The Strength Materia for even more magic stat. ATB Stagger. The rest of the materia are here to boost her magic stat even further with Auto Weapon Ability. Odin is the best summon materia for her. She'll want the Crystal Gloves as it has the highest magic stat in most materia slots. These are the weapon skills I went with. For accessories, we'll be taking the Fury Ring that Aerith had in the first build for 30% more damage. Our last member is Cloud. He'll be abusing the Broken Synergy Materia, linked to Fire. Another Fire linked to Magnify. The other materials don't matter. I use Autocast for the 2% magic and the rest are here for plus 2 magic stat. Any summon that gives him plus 4 magic. Runeblade is used for the most magic stat and the weapon skills are really good. It comes with full magic power which will always be active. For accessories, use anything that increases his magic stat. I shortcut Quick Aga and I made it magnify by pressing L1. You'll want to start off with Tifa as the leader. Hold down R1 and when combat starts, press L1 to activate ATB boost. Use Fire Aga on the Queen V. Swap to Aerith and set up Arcane Ward on Tifa. Then ATB boost followed with a Quake Aga. This will be the base for every round. For round 2, make sure you target the Sorcerer with Fire Aga. Round 3 will want to use Blazaga and target the Griffin. Round 4 use Fireaga on the dog that's closest to the Chimera. Round 5 is a massive pain in the butt. You'll want to ATB boost and then dodge behind the soldier, then use Fire Aga. At the same time, have Aerith set up Arcane Ward on Tifa. Swap to Cloud and after the rider drives through, swap to Aerith and Ward Shift, then Quake Aga.
From here, build up ADB, then use a single target Fire Aga to take it down. Round 6 will have us using Blazaga on the Shadarl. After the normal combo, build up one ATB and use Quakera. From here, use the raw spells to kill it. Round 7 is a little more chill. Just make sure you Blazaga the Chimera. Round 8 will want to use Fireaga on the Cockatrice. Aerith might get sucked in by the Alpha Dunk, use Wardship and then Quake Aga. Round 9 you'll want to Blazaga the Bomb. For round 10, make sure you use Fireaga on the Chimera. And just like that, we're done. Hopefully you found this guide helpful, and if there's any unanswered questions, then ask down below. And if your materials aren't maxed out yet, then consider checking out the method I use to level up mine quickly right here. Until the next video, I'll see ya.